Hi survivors, this is me Prepper Zan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not horrifying to say the least. I would like to thank Queen for another great article. She sent me an article about a lot of the southern states are experiencing severe water problems, water bursting issues, all types of stuff going on with the water. Um, people, a lot of more people are starting to see what I've been trying to tell people for years about this water and these water issues. I will briefly speak up on, cause I'm on my way to work, uh, briefly speak about some experiences that I've experienced and that we've experienced in Texas, you know, dealing with water issues. I know like with a lot of the storms. First of all, before a storm, the water is already questionable. You're dealing with a system with millions of people utilizing this water system. And it's going through pipes and under the ground. And you have a toilet. You have a sink. You have the kitchen, the bathtub. You have all these different uh, ways of, in which you use your water in your home. And guess what? Billions of other people do too in this country. So you're dealing with that system. We don't even know what's going on with that water. We know that with a lot of other people using that same water and that same water system, it's, it's, it's room for germs and diseases. That's just quite naturally. Those are just facts. Allegedly. But that's what's really going on. We don't know if it's being purified correctly. I will say that a lot of times we've experienced water issues in Texas. They'll tell us weeks after the damage is done. Sometimes it wouldn't even be through a storm or a hurricane or a flood. That's when we really experience nasty, nasty water. But sometimes it just be like every day, like now. And then they'll put on a, a warning or whatever, a public, a public warning issued. Oh, don't use the water. We just went through that a month ago. And the world heard about it. It wasn't a storm. It wasn't no tornado. And, and, and something nasty was going on with the weather. Right before that, uh, them people shot down the grid. Or what was that? North of South Carolina. That two weeks before that happened in Texas, they said that somebody had um, something happened to the grid, and a lie detector determined that was a lie. Because I'm gonna tell y'all something. Allegedly, I was at the house. I work from home most of the time, and my lights ain't off. They said somebody did something to the grid, so the water. Y'all better be careful. Some ugly stuff going on out here. But I'm telling the devil is man, devil working overtime. And um, that's an issue. And then, of course, when the floods and hurricanes and tornadoes hit, grid go down. That water nasty. That's why I tell y'all better store a lot of water. Y'all on to that storm food, which is good. Your body could go a long time without food, but not without no water. I'm telling you, you can't make it. You know what some bodies of water are around you. I'm telling you, if you're trying to survive out here and know how to purify that water and um, the grid to go down, instantly the water's nasty. Water would be nasty. Then with that Texas winter storm, oh, then I want to say this too, it's important to store water because when um, also, when the grid goes down, you also keep a bucket at your house. You need to be able to keep flushing that toilet because you can't flush the toilet no more when the grid is down. And you can't, yeah, there's no water, so you can't flush the toilet, but you got to keep using the bathroom because people eat every day. So, you know, you also want to have a bucket at your house where you can, you know, go if you have a pool and if you live in an apartment, you go get some water out the pool and you can flush the toilet or, you know, with some water sources around, you go get some water and you can flush that toilet, you know. But I was saying, like, during the Texas winter storm, people's pipes were bursting. You know, they didn't tell people until after the fact what to do uh, in order to prevent their pipes from bursting, from, like, like turning off the water source uh, and then 
keeping your faucet on to let the excessive water drip out. You know, y'all, to be honest with you, that's what our problem is. We've been depending on these people to tell us everything. A lot of things we need to take initiative and learn on our own. That's why we're in the mess we in now. We just up here and depending on them for everything. We should have been depending on ourselves all this time. So just know the water is questionable as it's, as it has always been. Even they saying even now with the bottled water, be careful with that. And I believe them. Anything coming in from anybody else except for yourself has a big question mark on it nowadays. Allegedly. But that's what's really going on. So y'all just make sure y'all taking care of yourselves. We all need to take care of ourselves, including me. And, you know, just be careful with this whole system and the way the system is doing things. Everything is tanking, man. Society's collapsing. A lot of ugliness is going on, y'all. And they still coming in with all these agendas. And it's just getting started. So please follow me on my other platforms. Give this video a thumbs up. Go to purposeand.com. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. Uh, give us your email address. We will respond. Please follow me on Patreon for real content. Because on here I have to... Uh, watch what I'm saying because of censorship. Please support the allegedly and the good luck with that t-shirts if you can. If you have any news or information that you want the public, you think the public should know about, email me at purposean at gmail.com. You can get some of your survivalism needs and gear at purposean.com. And also follow my other platforms if you can. The links will be in the description. And as always, watch this world, watch the weather. Smell your water, boil and purify your water before you use it. And please support the allegedly and good luck with that t-shirt if you can. And keep surviving. It's a must. <laughs>